Hello, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, hopefully everything sounds and looks good. Let me know if that is not the case. Um, but welcome back to Love Live Dance. If you are brand new, I'm Samantha. I'm the instructor for Love Live Dance here in Salt Lake City. And today we're gonna to be talking about East Coast Swing Basics, which are super fun. So I'm gonna give folks like a minute or two uh, just to pop in. We'll chat a little bit and then we'll get started. So if anything needs to be adjusted volume-wise, let me know. Um, but yeah, so the plan today is to do some East Coast Swing Basics. We're gonna start off with with single time, uh, which is super simple. It's the very watered down version. And then we'll move on and play with a little bit of triple time swing as well. So if you find single time swing too easy, I've got triple time for you. And if you find triple time too difficult, you can fall back to your single time swing basic. A uh, little bit of background. This is rock and roll era. Um, it comes from Lindy Hop or Lindy Swing. Uh, the single time swing, if you've ever done Jitterbug, this is gonna feel exactly the same to you. Um, and we're gonna play around with some rock and roll, some country inspired, generic music, maybe a little bit of pop as well, but it's more gonna feel in that rock and roll era style of music. All right, since it's all quiet on the chat front, I'm going to assume that volume levels and um, picture is all looking good. Let me know if at any point you guys have any uh, questions, any concerns, any clarifications, or if we run into any technical issues because the internet has been a little bit spotty today. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, so I'm gonna ask my lovely, lovely, uh, partner, my husband, to come join me while we talk about the basic for single time East Coast swing. And we'll switch over to the live cam as well. There we go. Okay. All right. So uh, the leads footwork and the follows footwork are going to be different. This is the first time that we've really started to play with a pattern where your footwork and my footwork are separate entities. So okay. I'm going to start off with the leads footwork and then I'm going to come back to the follows footwork. All right. So for the basic, we are going to start with a rock step. Um, so those lovely fifth position breaks that we were doing on Wednesday night for the wedding waltz, yep. we're going to take one of those. So I'm going to take my left foot, uh -huh. cross it behind my right, and then replace my weight to my right foot. Yes, perfect. So if we do just that rock step one more time, I'm gonna take the left foot behind yes. and then replace the weight forward. From here, I'm gonna take a side step to my left, brush my foot, side step with my right, brush the foot. And then I'm gonna rock step back. So I have rock, step, slow, okay. slow, rock, step, slow, Hello. Now, is this supposed Hello. to be like this fluid thing where I go over and then back? Or am I, am I stepping over and that's a thing and then stepping back and that's a thing? Um, yes and no. So the fluidity, the styling of it is really going to depend on what kind of music we're listening to. So if it feels very like soft bluesy, okay. it's going to be a little bit more fluid. If it's got more of that like... Mickey, high energy, jivey feel to it, um, where it's really in your face with the beat, then it's we're not going to be as fluid. Um, with that being said, what we don't want to get into a situation where we're actually changing our weight on that brushing action. So as I take my step to my left, uh -huh. I can either leave that right foot there or I can brush it to close. Mm -hmm. What I don't want to do is do a tap. Where I, where I commit any of my body weight, no weight. to that foot. Correct, it's okay. a non-weighted foot. Okay. So um, for those of you at home that are practicing, if you find that you have a tendency to want to um, tap the foot, you just want to keep both feet um, in place for a little bit until you can kind of break that habit. So if I have a rock step, I can go slow and do nothing with that foot, almost like it's glued in place, shift my weight for mm -hmm. slow, and then rock step back if you find that you're wanting to actually put the weight on it. Okay. If you're not 
finding that to be an issue, then you can just brush it. Um, we kind of jokingly refer to it in the studio as double time swing. Double time swing doesn't really exist, but you're doing something on that count to create a second action. Okay. Yeah. So let's do the gentleman's footwork or the lead's footwork rather one more time. Um, let's actually sure. turn around so you guys can follow it the same direction that we are. What, what? So we're just gonna we're gonna turn away so that if you're watching okay. your your screen at home, you can follow along. We're gonna step back with our left foot still. So we have a rock, uh -huh. step, slow, slow, rock. Step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, okay. rock, enough. step. Super easy, right? Sure. Awesome. If you are a follow, um, we're going to be doing the same thing, but we're going to be doing it all on our right foot instead. So I'm going to have you take a couple steps back. Yep. So I'm going to be doing my rock step backwards on my right foot to start. So I have a rock step. And then I'm going to take a side step for slow and come back for slow. And then I rock step again. Rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step. Or I can create a brushing action. Slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step. So I still have that same rock step back. I'm just doing it on my right foot. And then I'm starting to my right and coming back to my left. If I turn around so that you can see it from a different angle, stepping backwards on my right, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, and rock, step. So far so good? Oh, none of that matters to me. None of that, none of that second half matters to you. Hello and howdy. Thanks for checking in, guys. Um, if you have any questions as we go along, please do pop them in the chat or if you have any clarifications. So let's go ahead and try this together. Okay. Um, the hold is going to be different. No beach ball. Well, half of a beach ball. Okay. Um, so if you're just joining us, this is your first stream that you're tuning into. Welcome. We're so happy to have you. Um, what Matt is referring to when he talks about a beach ball, um, in our two previous streams, our American Rumba and our mm. Wedding Waltz, we talked about how's, how, how as a lead, uh, you want to think like you're holding a beach ball. Mm. So you roll those shoulders back and down and you have your elbows nice and and lift it. We're going to use half of that frame today in our swing frame. So I'm still going to have Matt go ahead and create his lovely beach ball. Beach ball. Beach ball. And you're going to roll those shoulders back and down. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So as a follow, I'm still going to take a step forward with my left hand nice and lifted and I'm going to bring it down on his bicep. He's still going to close that hand onto my shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. But then with this hand, I'm actually going to have him lower it to his waist and he's gonna hold on to my hand like he's holding a game controller. So um, for my follows, I'm just, <laughs> exactly, I'm just putting my hand almost like I'm cupping something or clasping a banister. I'm gonna clasp over his hand and then he's gonna put his thumb on the top of my, um, on the top of my hand, on the back of my hand, just like he was holding a joystick. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're still gonna be lined up offset. So my left leg can still swing past yours. Your left leg can still swing past mine. Mm -hmm. But the difference is we're going to turn 45 degrees forward. So we're making a nice little V okay. with our feet. All right. From here, you're rocking backwards on your left, which is your outside foot. Uh -huh. I'm rocking backwards on my right, which is my outside foot. And you notice that we're using our shoulders kind of like a door hinge. So we're both rocking back in the same direction. We're not rocking away from each other. And that's a really important thing to know as you're practicing this with a partner. So we rock back, okay. we change our weight, then we're gonna step slow, slow, and we rock again. Rock, step, slow, okay. slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow. Seems easy slow, enough. Super easy. Again, this is our single time swing basic. We want to start off kind of uh -huh. easy mode, right? If this is all that you are comfortable doing with at the end of the stream, that's still more than you started with. Sure. <laughs> it's just going to be like the thing we did on Wednesday where we do it this way, but then you start the music and it's like 50% faster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. 
<laughs> so so I'm going to count it um, the way that the first song is probably going to be tempo-wise, no, just so we can get a kind of sense of that. And then I'll put on the music and we'll try just the basic together. Um, and we'll go ahead and turn. Where are we turning to? 90 degrees. Perfect. Wait, wait, I thought it was supposed to be 45 degrees. You're still 45 okay. degrees. I'm turning our bodies 90 oh, okay. degrees. Oh, okay. So we have five, six, seven, eight, a rock, step, slow, slow, 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 slow right. and rock, step. So far, so good. Yes. Any questions on the basic? No. Okay. Well, let's put it with music. Okay. Again, as you're going through this at home, if you have any questions or concerns, just pop them in the chat and I will answer them as we go along. <clears throat> but we'll dive into our first song here. You guys let me know in the chat if that's too loud, too soft, or just right. We'll try it with the basic a couple times. Alright. Five, six, five, six, seven, and a rock step slow. Slow, <laughs> this is, rock step. Uh, well, you know, you did not give me this particular speed, even, even the last thing we did. Five, step, slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, sure. So far, so good. It, it's just, I feel like I'm, I'm being misled because every time we we do something else, it's just a little bit faster. Well, that's the thing about practicing with music, right? Uh -huh. Is the music can vary widely in tempo. Uh -huh. So we're going to try and get used to the different you want to go nice and slow to kind of get comfortable with it, mm -hmm. and then as the music increases. I'm assuming that's a max that just said that's a great two-step. Yes. So there is a lot of overlap between um, what you can do with two-step and foxtrot and what you can do with swing. Also, um, with quick step, if you don't know quick step or you want to avoid quick step, you can always do a jive or a jitterbug to most of the music and then there's a lot of overlap. Again, it's mm -hmm. that kind of swing big band era music. Um, my ear hears that as an East Coast single time swing because that's what I'm more comfortable with. Whereas someone from the country ballroom end of the world is going to hear it and think, immediately nightclub two step. So you're going to hear a lot of those today where they're kind of running the line between what is truly a swing and what could be considered either a Texas two or a foxtrot. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Uh, any questions that you have so far on the basic? Not yet. Okay. So I want to give you... Is it going to keep getting faster? No, that is the okay. fastest that it's going to go. Okay. That's the fastest it should go. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's get into an underarm turn for the follow. Uh -huh. We're going to go through your footwork first. We're going to demonstrate it, and then I'll go back through my footwork as a follow afterwards. Okay. So I'm going to have us turn so that we're facing straight on. Yep, to so the camera. Okay. You're going to start with your rock step. You're going to do one full basic. So you have a rock step, slow. Slow. Now, as you come back for your second rock step, mm -hmm. when you replace your weight to your forward foot, so okay. as you're replacing your weight forward, you're going to lift your hand to the left. Okay. Yep, left hand to the left. And then you're just going to stay put. You can think about releasing that arm, but she, she, she will turn at this okay. point. So you have slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, and on the Second rock step after you released her, she will be back, or your partner will be back. So, okay. so you're gonna do a total of three basics. So, I feel, I feel like that's a large amount of time for me to get uh, distracted. Yes, we do run, we do run the issue. But again, okay. the tempo is so fast mm -hmm. that they're gonna be back in front of you before you realize it. All right. So let's go over over just that hand lift one more time, and then we'll try it together. Sure. So we have rock step first, rock step one, slow. We lift the hand slow, mm -hmm. slow, rock step slow, slow, 
and rock step when they're back in front okay. of you. Um, so with a partner, this is what it's going to look like, and then I'm going to come back mm -hmm. and do the follow-us footwork. So oh, we're, like, yep, we're yeah. going to try it together first, and then oh. I'll go back over my footwork. Okay. Okay, so we have one basic to start. Okay. Rock, step, one, slow. You lift the hand, slow, slow. Rock, step, slow, slow. And I rock, step, and I'm back in front of you. Sure. And we can try it again I, if we want, okay. or... No, you can't. I, I don't know what you did. I was too busy counting in my head. That's, that but, is exactly where I want you uh, to be at this exact moment. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. We sure. have rock, step, one, slow. We lift the hand, slow. Slow, rock, step, slow, slow, and rock, step. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Let me talk about what the follows are doing, and then I want to talk a little bit more about the lead and follow dynamic of this one. Mm -hmm. So as a follow, I'm going to be doing one full basic first. So I have rock, step, one, slow, rock, step. Now before I take my next step, he is going to be in process of lifting my hand. So the hand is lifted forward and to my right, I'm gonna take my first step like normal on my right foot, then I'm gonna turn 180 degrees on that foot, and then take a side step directly to my left. From here, I rock step back on my right, rock, step, and then I'm gonna pretend like someone just hit rewind, and I'm gonna come back in the way I went out. So I'm gonna take a step with my right, turn 180 degrees, step with my left, and then rock step away. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're going to do that one more time. You're supposed to sneeze into your elbow, I, not your hand. Well, You're going to dance with me. It's more forward. So we have rock, step, slow, slow. I lift the hand, slow, slow. Rock, step, slow, slow. And rock, step. The important thing for all of my follows to realize is that I'm separating movement and rotation in this. So I'm moving, committing my weight on my foot, then turning, then moving, mm -hmm. rock, step, move, then turn, move, and rock, step. That's really gonna be the best way to make sure that you're keeping your balance and that you stay on time, is separating it so that that turn happens in between those two counts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's try it twice together. Okay. Uh, we'll do a basic in between each, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what your arm is doing as the lead. Okay. Oh yeah. There we go. That's where I'm supposed to put that. Uh -huh. Alright. And we have rock step, slow, slow. You lift the hand, slow, slow. Rock step, slow, slow. Basic, slow, slow. Rock step, slow, slow. Rock step, slow, slow. And rock step. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so what I want to talk about, and you're doing an awesome job of it, probably because you're just reacting to what you're feeling me do. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of it. And, <laughs> but, and, I mean, this isn't really materially different than any of the other turns, the waltz turn or the the other one. Rumba. Yeah, the rumba turn. I mean, it, all I'm, it's all I'm doing. Yeah, you're just lifting your hands. Yeah. Um, so something that I want to make sure the folks at home are doing, especially if you feel like at the end of your turn, you're very far away or you feel like you're getting pulled off your center. Um, I want to make sure that we're protecting our shoulders and our back as much as possible mm -hmm. when we're doing a swing and that we aren't creating kind of this whiplash effect um, when we're doing our turns. So I want both the lead and the follow to think of your turning uh, connecting hand. So in my case, it's my right, almost like it's a toll booth. So as I go underneath, as the vehicle passes underneath the toll booth, as soon as my head is out of my way, I want to bring my elbow into my rib cage. So I'm bringing that elbow down and in. That way, as I take a step to the side, I can only go as far as my elbow to my hand will let me so that when I rock step back, I have for my elbow to my shoulder, my own arm as a cushion. And I'm going to have my leads do the same thing. So as you're turning your partner, we have slow, mm -hmm. slow, rock, step. We lift the hand. As soon as our partner's head is out of the way, I want to bring that elbow down and in so that when I go to rock, step back on my left, I also have the amount of room for my elbow to my shoulder that I can kind of cushion that rock, step with. Okay. I mean, I, I don't take a step to the side, though, right? So I, I shouldn't... I shouldn't have that problem. You do, though. 
I, I take you're, the rock step, but I don't take the step to the side. You are, though. You're doing Am your I? basic footwork. So the first one is going to be with me. Was I? Yes, you were. Okay. Existential crisis. What did I just do? Um, <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. So, so you're taking your step to your side with your left, uh -huh. which is with me. Yes. And then you're taking a step to your side oh, with your right. Yeah, I, I do do those things. To change your weight as I'm also moving farther away from you. Yeah. So on that second slow, on that second side step, uh -huh. we're moving in opposite directions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's here's a we're going to do it the wrong way and then I'm going to come back to the right way. Okay. So I'm not going to protect my own shoulder. I'm not okay. going to bring my elbow into my rib cage. So okay. you can just feel the difference. So we have basic rock uh -huh. step slow. Slow, rock, step, slow, slow. Okay. Not so pleasant, right? No, no. So instead, if we both cushion by bringing okay. our elbows in, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow. I, I don't know if I'm doing rock, anything step. different. I, I really think this might all be on you, but. You, you were doing it correct <laughs> the first time. Okay. I, 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 I feel like there was just enough awareness of where I was in space that you brought the arm down. So you did it correct. Okay. And that's and that's really the good the reason why I teach this to both the lead and the follow is as a follow I am just as responsible for making sure that I'm protecting myself when I'm dancing mm -hmm. as you are as a lead to make sure that you're not injuring me, right? I guess. You know, it's it's a 50-50 partnership. Uh -huh. So it's important for me as a follow to know even if my partner on a social dance floor isn't aware that they need to be bringing their elbow in, mm -hmm. that I can do that myself and make sure that I give myself the cushion room that I need to do that rock step. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Uh, no, no. Uh, if you tell me I was doing it right, I'll assume I was doing it right. You were doing it correct. All right. That's all I need. All right. Let's try it with music. So, so I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. Yeah, this is going to get like 50% faster too. No, right? no, no, no. It's not no. going to get faster. Um, with both the rumba and the wedding, we were doing one and then a thing, one and then a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were. For me, uh -huh. can we do two basics and then a turn? Sure. Excellent. So we're going to do two basics, an underarm turn for the lady or the par or your partner at the follow. Okay. Uh, two more basics. So give me two basics to recover and then sure. send me out again. Okay. All right. I just do what I'm told. Hey, let's try it. <clears throat> Turn the music up just a little bit more. Yeah. All right. All right. Five, six, seven, and a rock step, slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow. Here we go, slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step, slow. Slow, slow, rock step, 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 that's because you stopped counting, so you need to go back to counting. Slow, slow, rock step, 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 slow, slow. One last time, slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step, slow. Rock step. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I can do that. Excellent. Folks that are practicing along at home, let me know how we're doing if we've got any questions. Um, let me switch over to the chat scene just for a moment because I want to talk to you guys about um, how to count this. Um, since Matt brought it up that he wasn't 100% sure where we were with the beat. Um, so swing, swing and eventually foxtrot are two dance styles that drive people with a music background crazy. Um, 
We are dancing six counts, but it's for a 4-4 four, four song. So we talked a little bit um, Wednesday during the wedding waltz about 3-4 and the difference between 3-4 and 4-4 four, four music. 4-4 four, four means that there's four beats per measure of music. In our East Coast Swing, in our foxtrot, and in a couple other um, styles, West Coast Swing is another variation of this, Night, uh, not Nightclub 2, uh, Texas 2 is another variation as well. We are doing six steps in our pattern, but we're counting it in a 4-4 signature. So I refer to this as a rolling one, meaning that if you were to count it out, you would have your rock step on the first set on one, two, Side step is three, hold four, side step five, hold six. And then the next time around, your rock step would be starting on seven, eight. That is where I lose most people, or I have uh, musicians running out the door because they're like, I don't know how to handle this. So um, I count a five, six, seven, eight to get started. So I'll give myself a five, six, seven, eight do my rock step on the one, two that follows that, and then just count it as quick, quick, slow, slow, or rock step, slow, slow, for every subsequent measure. Because otherwise, if you're trying to find your downbeat after your initial five, six, seven, eight, you're gonna run into some struggles. <laughs> so we're still, we're still dancing um, in our measures and in our downbeats, but it's just, it's a rolling one. Um, so let me know in the chat if you followed me on that or if I need to come back and re explain it later. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, so far we have our basic for our single time swing and we have our underarm turn as well for the follow. Um, you can certainly adapt that to be a, a leads turn as well if you want and we can maybe get into adapting follow and lead parts in a later stream. But for right now, I wanna go on to our sweetheart cuddle. So I mentioned the sweetheart cuddle on Wednesday in our wedding waltz stream. Um, this is the pattern that, or this is the dance style that I, I took that from and adapted for our wedding waltz. So we're gonna go over the footwork and the counts, and then we're gonna add it to everything else before we move on to our triple time variant. So let me switch back to our dance cam, and I'm gonna bring that back. Okay. So with the sweetheart cuddle, there are a couple of different ways to get into it. Uh -huh. I'm going to use an arm slide to get to it, um, you could certainly do this from an underarm turn. The big thing is, in order for it to be comfortable for both partners, uh -huh. you want to get from the swing hold that we've been in so far uh -huh. down to a two-hand hold. Okay. So like I said, I use an arm slide, um, and we're just going to do that from a basic. So okay. on your second half of your basic, you're just going to remove your hand from my back and let it slide down my arm. Okay, which half, uh, where, where, where does the half start? Yeah, yeah, so we have wrap okay. step. This is your first half. Okay. So as you take your step back, you're uh -huh. gonna square to face me and you're gonna slide your, it would be your right arm uh, down to catch my left hand. So left, perfect. Okay. Then from here, because we're in a two hand hold, our rock step is going to change so that we're rock stepping okay. straight back. Okay. Still the same mechanic, we're still kissing our heel with our toe. So, so it still goes, back and across the leg a little bit. It's not it's not straight back. It it is an optical illusion. Yeah. So so uh if you look at the floorboards that I'm currently on, uh -huh. I'm on I'm on the same floorboard. I'm yeah. on the same balance beam. I'm not crossing okay. behind to another floorboard. Okay. Yeah and that's and that's a mistake that a lot of people make. So it's a good clarification. It's one I would have made. Yeah you wanna you always want to think when you're doing a rock step like you're on a balance beam. So you don't want to be super out and wide, and you don't want to be over and across your body. You want to be straight underneath. Okay, well, let's rewind then. When we were at 45 degrees, yes. and we were doing the rock step, Yes. Was where was I? You are? Yes? I, uh, from where your front foot is, uh -huh. yes, your back foot is, cor is okay. correct, correctly placed. The other that way to do it, doing, which know. would be more which would be more technically correct, mm -hmm. would be to allow your standing leg um, 
for me as a follow, that would be my left leg. For you as a lead, mm-hmm. it would be your right leg. So the, the leg that you have your weight on currently yeah. to swivel. So that way, as you take your step back, you're still in alignment, but you're more on the perpendicular than at an angle. Yes, no? Uh-huh. Okay. And then you would uh, swivel, and then take right, your side step. All right, but what we that were doing. That could be a discussion for What, what we were doing. Yes. This, no, 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 we were here. Okay. So we made it was a rock here, step. And we've done our rock step. Okay. Yes. From here, as the lead, you're going to do two basics in place. Meaning you're going to take super duper small side steps. You're thinking about just marching in place. Uh-huh. So you're going to go slow, slow, rock step, slow. Do I still do the rock step? Slow. You do still do the okay. rock step. And there's a lot that we need to talk about with your arms on this one that we haven't quite Well, let's talk about my feet first. Then yeah. we can get to the arms later. Yeah. So, so right, from start... a basic, okay. we're in closed hold. Uh-huh. We have our rock step. We sure. have our basic. On the Got second that. half of the basic, we slide. Oh, oh, straight oh. back. Straight back. Get Now you're just going to march in place for two. So you have march, march, rock, step, march, march, Uh rock, step. Okay. So let me demonstrate that really quickly for those that are watching at home. Um, And I'm actually going to turn so that my back is facing you. So as a lead, I'm rock stepping. I'm being you. I am rock stepping backwards on my left. Uh So I have a rock, step, slow. Slow, I slide that hand, I rock step straight back. I'm gonna check my watch, which we haven't talked about the hand yet. I'm gonna march in place, march in place, rock step, march in place, march in place, rock step. And then from here, I could bring my partner back into my closed hold if I wanted. Now, now, when you said it the first time, you said really tiny steps Mm. as opposed to march in place. Yeah. Does it matter? As long as you're not taking a full basic side step, uh-huh. you're fine. The bigger the step, the more of a jostle you're going to feel when you're dancing this with a partner. Mm-hmm. If I if I if I just try and march in place, then I'm going to lose all all so, so knowledge you, of where the timing is. So then you could take what I call a cowboy close, which is rock step wide wide rock step wide <laughs> that might have been wide, what I was doing rock step and that's uh-huh. totally fine as well uh-huh. biggest thing is we just don't want to be taking our large sure. side step like sure. we do in our basic sure I think I can manage that okay let's try just the feet one more time uh-huh. then we'll talk about the hands and then we'll talk about what in the world I'm doing during all of this so no, no hand stuff no okay. hand. you don't have to worry about the hand stuff just yet rock step slow slow a rock step slow slow a rock step slow slow a rock step slow slow okay. and rock step i assume that was small enough that was small enough. okay that was fine that yeah. i can do that I, okay. I don't know that i can march in place though so, i'm gonna lose all my time there and that's okay that's all right again you can adapt this mm-hmm. this is meant as something you can do in at your home when you're so when you're social dancing with a partner mm-hmm. or practicing on your own this is not meant to replace Okay. Correct technique in person with a professional dance instructor. Okay. This is just meant to kind of get you on that starting path so that you can pursue accurate, technically correct in person at a later date. Okay. Um, so let's talk about what in the world your arms are doing because as a okay. lead, you need to send me certain signals to have this work. So, yeah. Up here? So we okay. start here. We have our rock step. Uh-huh. Slow. We slide. Rock step. So from this two hand hold, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you check your watch. We talked about that lead yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, For those that were, or not yesterday, Wednesday. Wednesday. For those that weren't here on Wednesday, Matt is just going to pretend like over gesture that he is looking at a watch on his left hand. And when he does that, he's going to remove his fingers from my hand so his hand can flip in place. Yes. Okay. And you're gonna do that, and I'm gonna try and maintain contact. So you can't pull your pull oh. your hand all the way away. You do have to. You, well, you, you can't. You can't look at your watch all the way back here, anyways. Yeah. Well. Wow. So as you flip, I'm gonna maintain contact. This hand's gonna be nice and high, so I know that it, that I'm turning. Uh-huh. And you're gonna keep my um, my left hand in your right hand, nice mm-hmm. and low. You're gonna take your two marching steps, slow, slow. As I come into the sweetheart cuddle, before you take that uh-huh. rock step. Um, hopefully you can see it well on camera. I am slightly in front of him. So I'm not even and I'm not behind. I'm diagonally in front of him. 
in front of him. And if we turn 90 degrees to face the camera, yeah. um, you're going to notice that I'm also slightly offset. So I'm not lined up directly in front of him, blocking him. I'm diagonally um, in front off of a corner. This is really important because as we go and take our rock step, I don't want to kick him and he doesn't want to kick me, hopefully. So we're going to rock step together, rock step. And then from here, you're going to give me a, a gentle leading pull with your left hand across your body. Uh -huh. So slow, keep this hand. Oh, oh. Yep, you're not, you're not getting away, you're not letting me get away just yet. So step across. And then you're going to... Oh, I'm supposed to be taking very tiny steps. Very tiny know. steps, oh. yeah. So I'm going to come across your center. You're going to lift your left hand up. Uh -huh. And as you do that, you're going to give me a gentle pull with your right. For slow. And then rock step away. Rock step. We, I don't know. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. I don't know. So from our basic, okay. we have a rock step. Slow. Slide the hand. Rock step. Check your watch. Bring me in diagonal, uh -huh. rock step, rock step. I'm gonna come across your center, so you're gonna give me a little bit of a pull across. You're gonna unwind me, and then rock step. Maybe I did that, I don't know. Did, I, did I do that? You could have been a little bit, um, you could have been a little bit clearer with that last half, with just the pull, pull, the, the left, right, so, wait, so I'm lift. I'm lifting with the left, pulling with the right. Is that is that what you said? Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna put you in a really uncomfortable, awkward position for a moment. I need uh, this hand here and this hand here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that hand goes underneath. <laughs> I certainly don't know. There we go. Okay. So, uh -huh. so you are now me, uh -huh. and I am now you. Uh -huh. So if I just lifted the hand and said you straight forward. Well, I, I don't know what be, your steps are anyway. That's okay. So. You would be ending up offset for me. So instead, as a lead, I need to, I need you to be... I, you need me to go that way. I need you to go this okay. way. So I'm going to say, hey, come this way, and then I'm going to give you a pull to unwind. Oh, okay. You know, it seems so simple when you do it, and I know <laughs> that's not what I'm doing, so... Well, so let's, so let's try just that last bit. Okay, so I'm back to being me. You're back to being uh -huh. you. I'm not going to worry about my footwork. You're sure. not going to worry about your footwork. You're going to give me a pull to come across. Wait, wait, isn't it up first? No. Well, it's it's this uh, way. Oh, it's it's over then up and out. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, that was very nice. Try that one more time. Hopefully, those of you that are at home watching this right now are practicing uh -huh. this as well. So You're going to pull across. Over, up, and okay. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like uh, if I do that incorrectly, I might get elbowed in the face too. It's motivation for you okay. to do it correctly to begin okay. with. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have all of my lovely leads practice that with Casper the Friendly Ghost for a moment so that I can talk to my follows. Um, so for my follows that are <clears throat> trying to figure out their footwork with the Sweetheart Cuddle, um, we're going to do a basic in place first. So backwards on our right, we have rock, step, slow, slow. As this arm comes down and he squares off to us, we're going to take our rock step straight back, rock, step. From here, he's checking his watch, which means that my right hand is coming across my face. So it's coming across in front of me. I'm going to follow my hand. So I'm stepping forward towards him, closing my feet in place so that we're in that cuddle position. We're rock stepping back. We're going to step across. So I'm stepping forward and across. Then I'm taking a side step to face my partner and rock step away. So just the in and out portion of this, I have straight back on my rock step. I step across following my hand, turn to close my feet. So I'm turning into my left shoulder. I rock step back. I'm going to step across with my right foot and I'm going to follow my right shoulder as I take a side step with my left to rock away. So just the turn one more time. I have rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step.
All right, let's try it together two times and then we'll see if the chat has any questions. So if as you're going along uh, with us at home, if you have any clarifications or have any questions, please do go ahead and pop those in the chat and we'll answer them here in a moment. All right. So from a basic. How are we lining? Okay. Here we're we lining up this way. So we have. So, so what, what are we doing? So we're doing one basic. One basic. Into our sweetheart cup. Uh -huh. So exactly what we just did. Okay. So we have rock. Step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, nope. slow, rock, step. That's do, it. Do we'll it do it again. Do it again. And we All have right. rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow. Oh. slow. Not bad. Okay, that, I don't know that it's going to get a whole lot better than that, but... I, I have to believe that with time and practice, that last little bit of lead will be refined. You're Probably. doing it well, you're just, you're, you're doing it to an extreme. Yes. Yes. As most beginners do. Left, up, and right. Like that, that's, that's all I know. Yeah. We can just... So it's, it's going it it to be a little jerky. Yeah. Okay. Again, with time and practice, it'll smooth out. It'll look a little bit more elegant. But you're going to play music, and it's going to be like 50% faster, isn't it? Uh, no, I think this next one is a little bit slower. Okay. If it's not, I will I will quickly adjust the playlist so it's a little <laughs> bit slower. Yeah, you may need to. All right. So before I turn on the music, uh -huh. let's put a game plan together. Let's do two basics. Okay. The underarm turn, which is our first turn, where you just lift your hand to the left. I've already forgotten that one. You just what do I do? I do, no, I do nothing. I do the same thing I'm always doing. Yeah, this is the toll booth arm. Okay. Yep. Then we'll do two more basics. Uh huh. On the second basic, we're gonna slide to that two hand hold and do a sweetheart cuddle. Okay. So two basics, underarm turn to the left. Two basics, sweetheart cuddle. If uh -huh. you're following along at home, that is gonna be our practice. So let me find a song. That is adequately slow. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, this might even be a little bit too slow. No, so no, I don't think there's any such thing right now. Five, six, oh. five, six, seven, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, slow. Slow, lift the hand, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step, be careful of going too fast. Step, slow, slow, sweetheart cuddle, slow, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, and try again. Basic, slow, rock, step, slow, slow, lift the hand, slow, slow, rock. back and chat with you guys for a moment while uh, Matt recovers and maybe has a, a sip of something adult. Um, so, so that's our single time swing. Here in a moment, I'm going to show you how to adapt it to triple time, which is true East Coast swing. Single time is kind of the social variant that we use for fast music. Um, it makes it a lot more adaptable. And it works really well if you have the faster music that we were playing earlier that normally would be either two-step or jive or quick-step speed, um, where it would just be a little bit too fast for the average person to do a full triple, as you'll see in a second. Um, but yeah, so that was our single time basic. Mm -hmm. That was our follows underarm turn to the left. And that was our sweetheart cuddle. 
you did awesome. You are doing awesome. We just need to we just need to smooth out the edges when it comes to the um, the sweetheart cuddle lead. Smooth out the edges. That's that's a that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I ask this every single time we do one of these. Yes. Uh, at the very beginning, you said there were six steps in six dances. Yes. Is this one of the six? It is. Okay. This is your second rhythm dance. So uh -huh. in the family of ballroom dance, we have kind of four subsections. Um, and then we have all of the nightclub social dances that are like the other, the other category. Mm -hmm. um, but it's international standard, American smooth. International Latin, American Rhythm. Within each of those categories, you have dances. Mm -hmm. So you're, I'm only going to talk about American, smooth and American Rhythm for the moment. Okay. We can have a whole nother discussion on international and the difference between American and international. But American smooth, you have waltz, mm -hmm. tango, foxtrot, Viennese waltz. Mm-hmm. Viennese waltz, I do not include in my six basic six. Okay. That's a little bit more advanced, and we kind of talked about it on Wednesday with the wedding waltz yeah. class. Yeah. And then in our rhythm, we have cha cha, which we haven't done yet. Nope. Rumba, which was our Did first that. stream. East Coast swing, which we're doing mm -hmm. about to do. Um, what do you mean about to do? We did single time. Okay. East Coast swing is specifically triple time. So, so earlier when I said this was going to get substantially faster. You can substitute this. Uh -huh. Again, from a social dance perspective, you can substitute. Okay. Um, and then you also have mambo and bolero mm -hmm. in your rhythm category. But again, kind of like Viennese waltz, that's not something that I would typically throw at someone in their first year. Mm -hmm. Or really even in their second year, depending on what their goals are. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, talk about or demonstrate um, our triple time, since I just mentioned that East Coast Swing is technically triple time swing. Mm -hmm. Just so you can kind of see the difference, we'll apply it to the basic, the underroom turn, and the sweetheart cuddle. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, we will uh, chat a little bit more. So this is gonna be a little bit of a longer stream, um, just because I wanted to make sure that we had a good foundation with the single time, okay. and that we spend enough time with our triple time. So, so we haven't really even started. We have, we have, <laughs> we have. Okay. We have. So we have. You've just given me easy mode. I have given you easy mode, yes. So just like, <laughs> So with Wednesday's, okay. with Wednesday's right. stream, we uh, we did the side shuffle first, right? We did. And then I adapted that side shuffle and we put in an extra fifth position break. Mm -hmm. Same basic concept, uh -huh. just slightly more difficult footwork. Okay. That is exactly what we're about to do with our triple time swing. All right. All right. So let's sure. try that. I'm going to switch it over to dance cam and get a sip of water because <clears throat> everybody should be hydrating. If you have not yet hydrated today... Take a moment, hydrate with us. All right, triple time swing. Um, if you are either a lead or follow, this is going to be the same. So I'm just gonna show you the triple okay. and then we're gonna add back on your rock step. Okay. Okay, so if you're a follow, you're gonna be starting on your right. If you're a lead, you're starting on your left. I'm gonna uh -huh. start on, a, on my left just so that you and I are going the same direction. Okay. We're gonna take the rock step out for a moment. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go side together, side. Do that with me. Okay. So you have side together, side, and then we're gonna do the same thing on our right. Side together, side. Okay. And again, side together, side, side together, side. I'm gonna count it progressively faster. Side together, <laughs> side, side together, mm -hmm. side. One, uh, two, three, uh, four. Am I supposed to be like, one, bringing my feet together? Two, as I as? wouldn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's going to be too much, too much going on too quickly. Okay. So if you notice as I'm doing this, and actually I'll turn around so folks at home can watch this as well. Uh -huh. I'll switch to my right foot so we're moving in the same uh -huh. direction. I have one, uh, two. I'm going to leave that foot where it is. 
and then transfer my weight back. So my weight is over here. My weight, yes. I your just, weight is I on leave, your left. And it leaves this foot over here. Correct. So okay. that way, when we do the next step back, uh -huh. we just shift the weight, close, side. Okay. So we have side, close, side, side, close, side, uh -huh. trip, full step, trip, full step, trip, full step, trip, full step. Trip, full step, trip, full step, trip, full step, trip, full step. Yes. So um, one thing that's really important, and again, we talked about it a little bit on Wednesday, yeah. is we don't want to dance this flat-footed. Uh -huh. You do want to be on the ball of your foot as you're going through this. Okay. So I'm going to go um, side, together, side. So that together, I'm doing the ball of my foot. And then as I come back, side, ball, side. Side, ball, side. What? Side, Wait, what? ball, side. I don't understand what this, what do you mean? So, so shift your weight to your the front half of your foot. Uh-huh. Almost like a football ready yeah, position. Yeah, I, I got this, I got that part. So as you go, you want to be on the front of your foot or the like ball the of your combine foot. combine now? <laughs> kind of. Oh, uh, Alright, so what am I doing? What am I, I'm, I'm on the front of my foot. Excellent. So we're gonna go one, toe, one. Uh-huh. One, toe, one. Uh-huh. One, toe, one. Uh-huh. One, toe, one. One, toe, one. I'm not the most graceful person in the world. Um, okay. okay. I, okay. I mean, I understand the, the, the movement, I guess. Okay, so what I, I don't know what speed I'm gonna be moving at. Fast. Okay. <laughs> So, if we try this together, you're mm -hmm. still rocking backwards on your left. Uh huh. I'm still rocking that backwards on my changed. right. That part It's not three times as fast. No. That's something. The rock step is still going to be quick, quick. So exactly the tempo that you were doing it for single time, you're still going to be doing it with triple time. Okay. So we have rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step. Triple step for rock step. Triple step. Triple step for rock step. Triple, triple rock step. Triple, if this is the speed, I'm triple, fine. Rock step. We'll find out in a minute. This is the speed. <laughs> let's let's try find, just that. Find the music. <laughs> we'll try just that basic. Um, hopefully, everybody that's following along is comfortable with the speed that I was just counting it as. We'll find out here in a second. I imagine. Well, that sounds fast. That doesn't. Maybe that's. We'll start with that one. Five, six, seven. Rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step. Okay. Triple, triple. This is exhausting, but it's triple not. Triple step, triple step. It's good cardio. I guess. Okay. So from here. So if, if I just like do the thing. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna turn us. <laughs> lost, lost my count. There. That's okay. That's okay. I was gonna uh, turn this anyway because okay. you were you just had the light bulb moment that uh -huh. I was about to talk to you, talk about anyway, which is can we do our underarm turn and our sweet heart cuddle? Yes. So let's try, let's do a couple basics uh -huh. and then we'll try that underarm well, turn. Are my still bigger than they need to be? Yeah. Like, can I make them smaller? Yeah. Can I make them much smaller? Yes. Okay, that's a relief. <clears throat> okay. I'm relying on you, Kevin. I know. Five, six, seven, eight, rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step. Okay. Let them hit. I'm just playing a little bit slow on that. Triple step, triple step, rock, step. Triple step, triple step, rock, step. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Was it okay? It was alright. I was, was so right. busy counting and trying not to fall. <laughs> I don't really know if I was doing any of it right. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Max. Um, 
That was amazing. Uh, let's let's go through it with counts. Okay. I think maybe doing triple time music uh-huh. might have been a little um, over ambitious yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. But I do at least want to go through what that feels like from a count perspective mm-hmm. when it comes to your underarm turn and your sweetheart cuddle. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's try that real quick. Okay. All right, what am I doing? Okay. So we're going to do the same practice pattern that we did when we put all three together in our single time. We're just going to do it in our triple time. So two basics, underarm turn to the left, two basics, sweetheart cuddle. All right, so I already have a question before we even get started. So I'm doing some marching in place thing, which isn't really marching in place because I'm taking very tiny steps. Yes. What, What do my tiny steps become in this? Tiny, tinier steps. Okay. Rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step. All right. All right. We have five, six. Very very slowly, let's count into this. Five, six, seven, eight, a rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, you lift the hand, triple step. Triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, basic, uh-huh. triple, rock step, triple, triple, rock step, triple, triple, rock step, triple, triple, rock step. I, I don't know what I did there, uh, other than I, I sort of took a pass for a measure, I feel like. Um, but it definitely wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. Okay. Well, let's try it again then. I mean, we can we can sort of get rid of the front piece. It's really it's, it's all going to be that sweetheart cuddle piece. Okay. Well, I'd like to do the whole thing one more time, okay. and then if we want to spend a little bit more time on that sweetheart cuddle, we can. All right. Because again, remember, it's not just for you. It's also uh-huh. for the folks at home that are learning and practicing. <laughs> I, I guess, but they have to watch me. <laughs> so we have uh-huh. rock step basic triple rock step triple triple. You lift the hand, triple, triple, rock step, triple, triple, rock step, basic, uh-huh. triple, rock step, Can do triple, this. triple, oh, sorry, rock step, it, but... triple, triple, rock step, triple, triple, rock step. Uh-huh. You recovered. I, I, it was just I that guess. second triple coming into frame. Well, well, yeah, all of that part is kind of in place. So if I just sort of take a mulligan for a minute. It comes back around. It does come back around, but you are technically being lazy. Yeah, it's not that I'm being lazy. It's that I, I, I mean, once I've missed the step, mm. jump back it, in on the rock step. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but is that? I mean, I assume that's that's good manners, right? Like I can't, I can't just like make shit off. No, 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 no. You you are adapting it correct. If you were if you were doing this on a social dance floor, uh-huh. you were doing exactly what I would hope any student would do, which mm-hmm. is. Just keep going, mm-hmm. find your rock step, and jump back in when you yeah. can. Yeah. However, from a teaching perspective, mm-hmm. let's get it right. Yes, let's get it right. So, Come here. so we'll pretend like we've uh-huh. already slid to this two hand hold. Yes. We're gonna do a rock step. Rock right? step. Rock. That's step, the easy part. Triple step. Triple step. Rock step. Triple step. Triple step. Rock step. I forgot, I forgot the hands part. You did all the hands right That's there. That's okay. All right. That's so what let's, I'm here do, for. let's do that again. And we have rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, nope. triple step. Nope. 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 I got it backwards. <laughs> yeah, gentle on it was, that. It was left then up, not yeah. up then left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it again. And <clears throat> rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step. Okay. Not bad. I felt I felt slightly better about it. I went left then up. Uh-huh. That part I did. Uh-huh. All right. Feet felt better. Did they? Let's do it one more time just to make sure we got it. Okay. And we have rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. All right. Much better. 
So one thing that I do want to clarify um, for those that are watching this and learning mm -hmm. it from a follows perspective is I am still doing the same idea. I'm still applying the same concept from my single time to my triple time. So anything that I would do with my single slow step, I'm now doing with a triple step. So for the underarm turn... And, and I should be fair, I feel very complaining because all of your stuff seems much more complicated than mine. A little bit. Yeah. So, so on my underarm turn as a follow, I have a rock step. I'm going to triple to the right, then turn, triple to the left, rock step back. So I'm still separating rotation and movement. Triple to the right, turn, triple to the left, rock, step. Same thing with my sweetheart cuddle. I'll actually turn this, well, no, this way is still probably best. So I have a rock, step, I go triple forward, I turn, I triple in place to close my feet, rock, step, I triple forward and across, plant my weight on that right foot, turn, triple to the left, rock, step. So I'm still separating movement and rotation. I'm just taking extra movement before I create my rotation. Yeah? Uh -huh. Let's Let's try it one more time all the way through. And then we'll get to some questions. And I think we wanted to chat a little bit about music identification <clears throat> too for a few minutes. So we can do that as well. All right. So from a basic, from two basics, we have. Wait, wait, wait. So two basics, then a turn, two basics, then the sweetheart cuddle thing. Correct. All two right. basics, underarm turn to the left, two basics, sweetheart cuddle. All right. We have five, six, seven, eight, a rock step, triple step, triple step, a rock step, triple step. Triple step, you lift the hand. Triple step, triple step, rock step. Triple step, triple step, rock step. Basic, mm -hmm. triple, rock step, triple. We slide, check your watch. Triple, triple, rock step. Triple, triple, and rock step. You did all the hand stuff again. That's okay. Because I was not there, but. That's all right, you're focusing on feet. Uh, I'm focusing sure. on demonstrating for the lovely people at home. So, kind of half ass a few Time part two, and practice. Time and practice. Let me switch to our chat cam and we'll come over and talk for a little bit. I'm going to bring Matt back over so he can kind of give you guys his opinion as well. Um, I, I, I feel rather embarrassed. Like, I'm just, I'm just remarkably bad at this. No. Wow. That was a TV. Yeah. Um, no, you're doing all right. Okay. It takes time. Again, like I was saying um, yesterday, Rome was not mm -hmm. built in a day. A dancer was not built mm -hmm. overnight. It takes time to kind of figure out all of the different nuances and how to how to make it work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, if you guys are still in chat and you're hanging out with us, uh, let me know any questions you have. It could be East Coast Swing. It could be Rumba. It could be Wedding Waltz. It could be something completely unrelated. Um, and we'll kind of answer those. But I did want to take a moment um, to talk and, and we'll kind of do this in future streams as well about how do you know that a song is an East Coast Swing or a Rumba or a Cha Cha or what have you. Or a West Coast Swing. Or a West Coast Is there a difference? Swing. There is a huge difference between East Coast and West Coast. There's a little uh, bit of overlap. Dancing, but... but is there a difference in the music? Yes. Yeah. Oh, let, me, okay. let me turn this ever so slightly so that I have you still in frame. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there there is an overlap. You can dance. Some East Coast swings can also be West Coast swings. Some mm -hmm. West Coast swings can also be East Coast swings, but not all can be either. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not it's not just a swing. And someone at some point has gotten, uh, you know, argumentative about East Coast, West Coast. There, there is a there, there's a difference. material difference. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so obviously, three, four music is easy to separate out. If if you can only count to three, congratulations, you're in the family of waltz. Okay. Um, you're gonna have either a slow waltz, a fast waltz, otherwise known as a Viennese waltz. Or you might have a polka on your hands. Polkas are fairly obvious. If it's an oompa, if it's a zydeco band, congratulations, you found yourself a polka. Um, everything else that we do in the dance world is 
in shades of 4-4. Four, four. Mm-hmm. Some 4-4s four, are fast, some 4-4s four, are slow. So I go through and figure out what the character is of the music and what character of a dance fits best with that music. Okay. So, um, rumbas, soft, sensual, romantic. Okay. Latin flavor-esque. If you have a song like um, Sway, which I can't sing any or play of, uh, but Sway by Michael Bublé, when Marie... Well, no. And it's, it's, it's kind of spicy. It could be either... Spicy. <laughs> spicy. Okay. It's spicy. Uh, George Street's I Just Want to Dance With You, um, Beast of Burden by the Rolling Stones, Chris Isaac's Wicked Game, things that are in that family of like smooth and I just want to kind of hug my baby, uh-huh. probably going to be Rumbas. Sure. If it is Frank Sinatra, big band standard, Mm -hmm. almost certainly going to be a Foxtrot. We haven't even done those yet. We have not done a Foxtrot yet. Um, Tango sings Tango to you. Tango is aggressive. It's sinister. It's... We haven't done that either. We haven't done that either, but that music is very easy to kind of pick out. But but is it a 4-4? The Every, same as everything else? Everything is okay. a 4-4. Four, four. So, so in theory, though, you could take whatever you're describing as a tango, and you can still rumba to it. If you if you had to, you could. Okay. And that's, and that's... Or, or you could do an East Coast swing to it. No? Could you force it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Would it be correct? Would it feel good? Would it be ideal? Mm-hmm. No. And that's, and that's kind of the thing that we get into when it comes to music identification. Um, and I alluded to it on Wednesday a little bit with our, our wedding waltz, is that people's ears hear different things. Mm-hmm. And what feels comfortable to one person is not going to necessarily feel comfortable to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why I kind of go with, like, what are easy things to kind of filter through? Easy things to filter through, you can isolate waltzes and polkas pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Tango, once you figure out what a tango sounds like, you'll know a tango when you hear it. Foxtrot, big band standard, Frank Sinatra, slow 4-4. Again, easy to kind of like push things to the side. Mm -hmm. Swing, rock and roll, country, upbeat. If it meets that criteria, you're probably safe attempting a swing to it. Mm -hmm. And then it's just going to be a matter of does this feel comfortable and does this feel like it fits the song and the movements. Mm-hmm. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. I'm going to pour myself another drink. <laughs> okay. You find a random song. Okay. That is one of those three things. Out of we've the, only done three things. Out, right? of, out of the copyright free that, music. Out library. of the copyright free music that you have. Yes. And let's see if I can actually figure out what the hell it is. Okay. Yeah. Does that seem like a reasonable plan? Yeah. Because I, I'm not convinced I can actually identify any of this stuff. Yep. Yeah. We can definitely do that. I'm going to I'm gonna shuffle things around just a little bit since we're doing this. Um, and I'm going to find out where I put my water. Since you're getting yourself a drink, I will also hydrate a little bit. And we'll see what we can find. So. All right. And if you're in chat and you want to say hi or you have any questions for us, uh, please, please, please pop those in the chat as well. I do appreciate it. Okay, so so what are my options? What three dance styles are we trying to identify? <laughs> well, uh, 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 East Coast Swing. Okay. Uh, the Rumba okay. that we did. And presumably the the waltz, right? Okay. Because those are the only three that we've done. Okay, so so just for folks that are playing at home, um, we have a waltz, which is three four. Mm-hmm. We have rumba, which it, I think of as slow, sensual, romantic four mm-hmm. four. Mm-hmm. And then we have East Coast swing, which is upbeat, rock and roll, fun. None of that means anything to me. I've never taken a, a music class in my life. Um, I don't even know that I'm going to recognize a 3-4. Well, we will find I out. I know that 3-4 is a thing. 
Yeah. And I know that it's three, what, three counts in a measure? It right? is three counts in a but measure. But I don't know that I, I'm going to know where the beginning and end point of a measure even is. Okay. So. Well, I'm going to have you close your eyes for a second. Uh-huh. I, I, I'll be over here. Or walk away. Yep. And I'm going to have you tell me what you think. <clears throat> uh, this one would be. Rumba. You no. didn't even let it play. No, I didn't. I, I just figured I would take a guess right out of the gate. I, 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 actually, I will say rumba then. Um, I haven't heard anything to let me know whether or not it's three, four time or four, four time. Um, it feels very slow. It feels vaguely romantic, I guess. It could be. Uh huh. Unfortunately, should, should I just wait until the uh, like the drum kicks there's, in? Or there's no drum there's to no this. There's no drum to this. Uh, unfortunately, so this is one that I would call a Viennese waltz. So it's a waltz. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know you're counting the six, five, though. I six. thought I was supposed to be counting the three. <sighs> one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I mean, to be fair, the music had changed when you started counting. It did. Um, I mean, I, I could do something a little bit more in your face. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sure, sure one, is counting to two, three, I guess. Three. I mean, you're counting to three, and that obviously, you know, makes it very clear to me that that's the right tempo. Um, sure. Without you sitting here next to me, I don't know that I had to pick that up. All right. Well, how about... I'm, just, I'm really bad at this. That's okay. Ugh. I mean, this this feels like with the swing stuff that we just did. It's, it's fast and it's... Ugh. Yes. This is this is a fast, easy swing. Yeah. It's, it's too happy. It's, it's, no, no music has any right to be this happy. Okay, so it's going to four, right? So I'm going to assume it's a rumba. Yeah. Okay, I got. I've, I've gotten one out of what six? Three, four. All right. You gotta be clear about whether or not it's three or four. That's counting to four, right? Yeah. I feel like it's slow enough to be a rumble. It is. Okay. Uh, this song is a copyright free song. Uh, I would say heavily influenced by Black Magic Woman. Oh yeah, it does kind of sound like that, doesn't it? Um, it is not Black Magic Woman. Mm -hmm. It is its own thing. Mm -hmm. But it's a good indication that if you were to be out somewhere, yeah. you would be able to dance. <laughs> it's remarkably close. It's very close. Which I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes my life easy when I'm doing okay. stuff like this. Alright, one one last one for well, you. Yeah, because... Uh... Oh, I actually saw you pick that one, so... I'll go back over here again. Okay. Oh, did you already pick a new one? I'm gonna have to assume that's a swing. Yeah. 1950s rock and roll. Yeah. I'm just waiting for them to go into like jump, drive, and whale. Yeah. Uh, it does sound like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this copy, uh, copy, right, free music is dangerously close sometimes, isn't it? Here's the thing there's only so much that you, I mean, there's. There's only so much that you can do. There was a lawsuit about this recently, wasn't it? What was her name? Is it the Kesha lawsuit? I, I thought or that the... was a sexual harassment thing. There Halsey was some, or someone? There was someone who sued some other musician for having a riff that sounded remarkably similar. I mean, and, that was uh, that was the thing that uh, we were we were laughing about. Um, we we just started watching a React channel. Of um, two guys that were in like the hip hop R and B rap scene that are mm -hmm. now listening to the world of country and mm -hmm. metal and and classic rock and roll. It was the Las Vegas Las Vegas guys, yeah. yeah. Um, and they were reacting to I'm probably ten years behind on that, but we did find it. Yeah, they uh, 
was it the Stevie Nicks song that was then sampled in Destiny's Child? Edge of Seventeen. No, uh, no. Wild Wing Dove. That's Edge of Seventeen. Yeah, Edge of, Edge of, So the the guitar riff at the beginning of Edge of Seventeen. When mm-hmm. it started, they were like, oh, this is going to be the Destiny's Child song. And then it was Stevie Nicks. And mm-hmm. he's like, wait, what happened here? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's only there's only so sure. much creative that you can do. Okay. And this makes my life easy, too, because I can very easily go like, okay, this sounds like X, which means when you hear mm-hmm. it, you know what it's supposed to be. Sure. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. So I think we've proven uh, that, that I can't identify music. And without you counting in my ear... I'm probably a lost cause. No, uh, it's a process. It at takes the, at time. the moment, at the moment, I'm a lost cause. Yeah. Um, but we'll get time. there. Yeah. And my my triple step is uh, hot garbage. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's it's getting garbage. there. It's getting there. You're just you're just being harsh on yourself <clears> because <throat> it's a Friday. I guess. I guess. Um. Anyway, so it's a little past eight. Um, I know everyone probably has Friday plans in quarantine that they want to get to. Mm -hmm. So we will end the stream here. Um, don't forget to come back Wednesday at 7 p.m. MST for the continuation of our wedding waltz. Is that what we're doing? Wedding waltz next Wednesday? Yep. Wedding waltz. We want to finish up wedding waltz on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then Friday is... Friday, we will finish out your three basic rhythm dances. Okay. With cha-cha. Okay. So you've done your rumba. We have did our East Coast Swing, triple time East Coast Swing. You've got three patterns in each. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to add on three patterns in cha-cha as well. Are, are you picking cha-cha because it is somehow easier than the others or just a random dance selection? No, it's one of the three and it rounds out your, it, it checks a box, which is your three rhythm dances we've at least started. Okay. Yeah. All right. What, what if I were to pick something else? I'll let you pick the next one. Okay, but this Friday has to be cha-cha. This Friday has to be cha-cha. Okay, fine. Because I've already prepped cha-cha. All right. I've already found music for cha-cha. Um, okay. That's life, isn't it? There we go. So thank you guys so much for watching the stream. Um, if you have any questions or any clarifications that you want to make, follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, Instagram is Love Live Dance SLC, Salt Lake City. And Facebook is Stout Ballroom Dance, but you can find it by searching Love Live Dance. Um, hope you all have an amazing weekend. Oh, thank you, Thornbird. And that also lets us know that our alerts are now working. Yay. Sure. So thank you for the follow. Um, so, yeah. So thank you guys for coming and watching the stream. Um, and we will see you Wednesday. Wednesday for Wedding okay. Waltz. Yes, for Wedding Waltz. Woo. All right.